All right, ask any dog or cat owner. Going to the vet can be traumatic for pets and stressful for the pet owners as well, but it doesn't have to be a scary experience. Advanced Animal Care, located in Mount Pleasant, has implemented a low-stress handling system at their office to make sure that their animals are comfortable and fear-free. Dr. David Steele is here to tell us all about it. Dr. Steele, thanks so much for coming. We do appreciate it. Oh, happy to be here. What exactly is low stress in this method and exactly how is it going to work and, and keep your pets kind of happy while they're away and maybe getting some medical treatment? So less, low stress handling essentially is a technique in which the animal's perspective is central to what we try to do. Yeah. So when I was trained as a veterinarian, as many veterinarians continue to be trained, uh, our process or procedures were done in a very human-centric manner. What I mean by that is that rather than uh, considering their emotional state, uh, we would proceed through processes uh, regardless of that. We wouldn't really consider the effect our actions or behaviors would have on our pet's emotions. It's kind of like you had a job to do. You're here to give care to this animal. We're going to do it no matter what. You bet. Very human-centric yeah. oriented. So uh, with, with low-stress handling, we're taking more of an approach of considering that patient's uh, emotional state, their, their fear, and working with them to gain their trust, uh, to uh, show them that we are trustworthy and reliable mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, they don't experience that fear. And, 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 and in addition, what we do find is that, unfortunately, a lot of veterinarians, uh, myself included, uh, we get very focused on getting the accomplishment of the tasks or the procedures sure. done, regardless of that patient's fear resistance. Ultimately, all for the better for the patient's care, but ultimately at the very end we would have a patient who was medically better but emotionally and behaviorally yeah. worse. Yeah, absolutely. So but give me an example of low stress and how it's going to differ a little bit from the, the normal typical veterinary clinic. Sure. Okay, so let's say we have to draw a blood sample from a patient. Traditionally we would have one, maybe two technicians restraining the pet while another technician or a doctor would collect a blood sample. Yeah. Now in many cases those pets would be compliant or comfortable uh, unfortunately, a lot of them would be very fearful and, and, and almost freeze in fear, so we get through it. Mm -hmm. uh, but many of them would continue to struggle and fight and fight and scratch, whatever, all throughout the whole procedure to just get away. With low stress handling, it's a little bit different. Now, the techniques we apply really are no different than something that we've done all the time. For instance, like teaching your dog to shake. Okay? So now rather than having multiple technicians holding that patient, we might have just one technician working and engaging with that patient, mm -hmm. teach them to give their paw, and while we're drawing a blood sample, we're giving positive reinforcement for calm, relaxed behavior. Uh -huh. How exactly can you do that in the time frame that you have with a dog or a cat or a patient? Well, th that is a challenge, and, and granted, that certainly is going to be our goal, and, and I, admittedly, I've got lots of patients who really aren't emotionally, behaviorally at that point where we could do something like that, mm -hmm. but it can be done. Yeah. Uh, domesticated animals have been selected and bred over thousands of years, over a multitude of generations for characteristics, traits that are very human-centric. They care about us. They understand us. They understand our communication, and they're willing to do what we want them to do. It simply just comes down to a matter of communication. Absolutely. Doctor, what are some tips that we can use to make going to a veterinary clinic a bit easier? Well, the first thing would be is don't make the car ride or, the, or getting into the carrier the first time you do that when you first take them to the vet. For cats, we recommend leaving a carrier out all the time, maybe have some nice bedding, throw some treats in every once in a while to encourage exploration. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a product called Feel Away. It's a pheromone that reduces their anxiety and can make the trip easier. For dogs, we recommend take them in the car as often as you can. I encourage my clients for dogs to come in for happy visits, which basically are my staff get an opportunity to love them and give them treats. So what we're doing is we're teaching them that every time they come here is not always a bad thing. And sometimes they actually get to play and get treats. Indeed. And treats always work. And in fact, you have given us a treat. Our ABC News 4 Halloween Pet you Contest. Betcha. You're sponsoring a part of that as well? Yes. Happy to do so. Well, we appreciate you doing that, certainly. So how can people get in touch with you if they want to check out this low stress method? How can they get uh, an appointment with you and make sure that their pet is, is being well looked after? Awesome. Very easy. We're, we're all over the internet, Facebook, Google pages, and so on. You can contact us at advancedanimalcaremp.com, and then, of course, our phone number as well is listed.
right there on the screen. Dr. Steele, thank you so much. Thank you very it much. It seems very Appreciate innovative, it. and I, I think a lot of people out there are going to like it. I think so. Appreciate you being here. All right, now let's head over to our good friend, Sonny Stevens.